from getting volcanoes in Fortnite to instantly reviving your teammates. Leaked footage of the Fortnite map later in the chapter. No fall damage, god mode, and so much more. This video was crazy. Apparently, there is an overpowered instant revive unlimited wins glitch. All this guy's doing right now, he's heading up on the platform, and I assume, yep, he just got himself eliminated. Now, I think what's going to happen is the person's going to come over and he can instantly revive him. Zero. It literally said zero, and he's instantly revived. We'll show you how to do that later in the video, but first, check this out. Apparently, there is a Sonic glitch in Fortnite. Okay, to do this glitch, apparently, it's at this pirate ship in Party Royale. This person right now is heading right over to the ship, and let's see exactly what he does. Okay, so what you need is this exact cannon, and then all you gotta do is bring it over to this wall. I have no idea what he's doing, so he's shooting the cannon, and then instantly getting back in it over and over again. Okay, so it didn't work there. Now he's trying it again. Wait, what? He is literally doing a Sonic emote in Party Royale. That has never been in the game before. That is so sick. Can this dog right here help open up the vault? Literally just a back bling. Let's find out. Okay, the suit is dropping straight on down to the vault. This is the ultimate Fortnite myth. I have absolutely no idea what is going to happen. Obviously, you can open up the vault with a chicken, so you might be able to do this with a dog as a secret back bling glitch. All right, he's dropping down, going straight into the vaults. It's right over there, and now he's shooting at it. I have a weird feeling this is going to work. All right, now his back is... Is this working? Is it working? I don't think it's working. Myth busted. You can't open up a vault with a dog. What's a dog doing? I found a speed glitch in Fortnite. Okay, we have to pay very close attention. Notice how I'm going 40 miles an hour. Now I press the handbrake, and it instantly hits top speed what? He is on the snow going 70 miles an hour. What is going on? That is so crazy. That's a game breaking glitch, but does it work? Okay, we got our car. We're going to go into the snow and see how far we can reach. We are going 35 miles an hour. Very similar to the video, but now let's hit the handbrake. Oh my gosh. What? Fortnite. You gotta fix this. And Fortnite finally patched the glitch to go inside of a vault with only a boat. Okay, let's see if this still works after the top five gaming video. All I'm going to do is destroy the entire area so we can set up the walls and get inside. All right, and just like that, we are ready to go. All we gotta do now, let's just place some walls and let's do this. Today is January 3rd, so this is an updated video. This is my friend. All he's doing is going forward in the boat, repeatedly leaving and going back in it. And now they're placing a staircase to force the boat down and they are in the vault. The glitch still works. There's a no fall damage glitch from literally max height. And to start with this glitch, it seems like what you need, I assume, is the Spider-Man web shooters. Yep, he's heading right over it and he gets that. But what does he do next? Okay, he's shooting a web. He's going to the top of the foundation statue. And now I assume he's going to glide all the way to the top. And let's see what happens. He's gliding away, but he's still hanging on with the web. He can literally go anywhere he wants and now he can thunder bump that's so sick that is overpowered and no one is doing it we're about to see the weirdest glitch in chapter three that they never found out about even a month after chapter three was released it is involving the sanctuary i'm very curious as to what's gonna happen okay apparently the glitch is over at this location and apparently it's pretty game breaking all he's doing is building a wall building a floor and it's about this location what is that in invisible barrier. You literally should be able to walk through that. But let's find this out for ourselves. Is there actually still an invisible barrier? This is a perfect way to troll locks. Come on, I'm dropping down. It's clearly an invisible area, so you should be able to get in. But let's go there right now, and let's see what happens when I enter inside. Okay, this is the barrier itself that apparently is invisible, and let's go inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so crazy. What happens if I shoot it. Bro, that is so weird. What? And now I can go through. That myth is true. There is still an invisible barrier in chapter 3. It's only get more insane. Crazy new glitch to open all vault doors completely instantly. Make sure to do everything exactly how I do it or it won't work for you. Okay, he placed a floor. He's editing it. He's placing stairs. If it doesn't work for you, that means it's patched. Okay, what is he doing? And now the vault is literally 
open. Okay, this is fake. There was no vault door at all. Oh, because he's in battle lab. Good try. That myth is busted. Unlimited wins glitch. Okay, all you have to do, get one of your teammates to go down, then let your other teammate revive them, and then leave the game before the revived is finished. Once that player is up, he will be instant revived. Oh my gosh. Go and get eliminated right now, because I am about to instantly revive you, dude. And now all Genevieve is going to do is start reviving and then leave the game while reviving locks. And now she's gone, and three, two, one. Oh my gosh! Hello. I just instantly revived you. The glitch works. It did work. That's crazy. I'm taking this crown. On to the next myth. This one is extremely crazy. At the sanctuary, there is not one, but two invisible barriers. We already showed the first one, and this one might be even crazier. Dropping down to this exact location, see what happens when we land on the top of this exact wind turbine itself. All right, all I need is a little bit of mats. I have no idea what to expect. And now all we're going to do is build to the top, and let's see what happens when I try jumping on the top. And let's do it. Oh, what? I am standing on an invisible barrier above the wind turbine itself. If I try normally jumping, it doesn't let me. But if I jump from the top, yeah, Fortnite, you gotta fix this. Did you already know about this? I did not. Comment down below. We have footage of the leaked Fortnite map after the snow is completely melted. That is right. Look at the map right now. He's dropping down and everything looks completely different. That is so crazy and so different looking. Comment down below. What do you think of this? It looks literally like a different game of Fortnite. Do you like this? Do you hate it? Let me know. Before we show everything else in this video, please, if you are new, hit the subscribe button with notifications. Comment the secret word of the day. I rang the bell and I'll heart all of my subscribers' comments. And before we show the first ever footage of a tornado being formed and volcanoes back in the game, this is what it looks like to see a lightning strike formed never seen before. As you can see, it just randomly appears in the sky. But now we have the first ever footage of what it looks like when it actually hits you. So there's the cloud in the sky, but watch what happens when you navigate to the ground. Here we go. The lightning strike is coming. I have never seen this ever before. And look how crazy that looks. Oh my gosh. But now what does it look like when a tornado is formed? Oh my gosh. That's so sick. All of the ground completely rises up. There is a black cloud of smoke and it's slowly getting more and more strong. No one has ever seen this before. Bro, that is absolutely insane. And this only gets crazier. And there goes the funnel. It's literally forming. This is so sick. Wait, is that tree going to go in the sky? Dude, look at all of the wind on the ground. No one has seen this before. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen in Fortnite. Here's footage of someone watching the volcano live event two years after the event itself. I don't know if this was 2021 or 2022. Too, but how did this dude do this? Apparently, there's rumors of one of the disasters in Fortnite being a volcano. And obviously, this was a very old live event. But it's so sick seeing the volcano back in Fortnite. These were some of the craziest Fortnite myths. Subscribe for more.